chipmunks. Right, thank you very much indeed. Uh, you're up to date, as they say there. There was one, there was one death notice uh, that I needed to tell you about that we missed out earlier, and it's in Drummond T in Yuri. Mary Rose Daly Nee Devlin uh, passed away peacefully at her home in Mountain View, Drummond T on the 2nd of February. Beloved wife of the late Peter and much loved mother of Helen, Anne, Bernadette, Peter and John and much loved aunt of Margaret, Maria and Patricia, Ali and Winifred and all the extended Daly family. Uh, the remains of Mary Rose uh, will leave her late residence today, Tuesday the 4th of February, at 11.30 this morning, uh, going to St. Patrick's Church, Drummond Tea, for the Requiem Mass at 12 noon. Burial afterwards in the adjoining cemetery. Well, that was one we missed out on earlier. Delighted to welcome into studio today as part of our election forum program, uh, Laura Devlin. And Laura, you're representing the Social Democratic and Labour Party. I am indeed, Ron. The new face of the SDLP <laughs> here, one of the new faces, and you'll be fighting for a seat in the new Super Council in May of this year. Yeah. Uh, we vote twice, don't we? There's one for Europe and one for... There is indeed, yeah, yeah. on the same day. And might you be going for Europe as well no, as the... No, definitely not. No. Uh, the local government is where, where I'm heading. And looking where you're to heading. It. And yeah. Look at, yeah. And uh, at, uh, currently you're working with the SDLP. What is your position with them? I am, Rowan. Um, I've been involved with the SDLP uh, for many, many years, for 14 years. Um, I started my career working for Eamon O'Neill way back. Um, who was Eamon O'Neill? Eamon was an MLA at that time um, for South Down. Um, oh, yes. Who had a constituency office in Castle Wellen. Uh -huh. So about 14 years ago, I, I came on board in an admin role in, in his office. Okay. And probably through that role, I um, developed a, a great interest in my own local area. Yeah. Um, watching him and learning from him how he sort of affected change and was able to help people yeah. and that, that, that sort of um, stuck by you me. Moved, you moved then into the, into the territory of Sean Rogers, I you're his uh, assistant, his secretary down in Newcastle I now, would be, yeah. in the new office. Yeah, we have an office in Newcastle and one in Castle Wellen, um, which are going very, very well um, mm. and, and very enjoyable. Yeah, it's not yet determined just which area you'll be standing in. Oh, so which, which ward, if you like, you'll be standing in. That, that's to be sorted out later. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Now, it's one thing being uh, working for the SDLP. It's another thing being a politician. Yeah. What has motivated you to be a politician? Well, um, as I say, I've been a member for 14 years, but probably for 13 of those years, Rowan, I always said, no, 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 I, I'd like to do it behind the scenes. I'm happy enough with that. Yeah. But now that I finally stepped up, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I was co-opted onto Down Council there just before Christmas. So you're already doing the business? I am indeed. From the 16th of December, I was co-opted onto Eamon O'Neill's council seat, yes. who was my first uh, employer, and probably my mentor, Rowan, from mm. day one, mm. um, always encouraged me and really showed me how to do the councillor role right and the proper way. So um, since December, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. It's been yeah. very, very busy. It's been um, hectic. Anybody what sort of stuff have you been covering? Well, my first meeting of full council was obviously the very um, dramatic announcement by the Trust that the Down Accident and Emergency would close um, mm. on weeknights. At weekends. At yeah. weeknights and at the weekends. Yeah, yeah. weeknights as well. As well it was yeah. just the weekends, but no, weekends. from 8pm mm. to 8am on a yeah. weeknight. Um, so really, the night before Christmas Eve was my first meeting of full council yeah. um, on my own. And that's whenever the Trust officials came uh -huh. and the councillors had the opportunity to question mm. and um, query. And how did they justify closing? the A and E in Downpatrick at, at weekday nights. What, are, what is someone supposed to do between 8 in the evening and 8 in the morning? Well, exactly, Rowan. The line that we're being fed and that the, that the public are being told is that they cannot source middle grade doctors to work in the A and E. Mm. Now, for me, I find that amazing, simply because yeah. the Down Hospital is so fabulous. You know, yeah. we fought for it and we championed it for, for many, many years. Mm. An excellent facility. Um, serve in a very rural rural mm. community. So what's now expected is, uh, you know, just don't get sick at eight o'clock after eight o'clock at night. Or well, it's the, the old thing. It, you know, yeah. it's 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 already in the public domain. Don't don't go to hospital at weekends. You're more likely to die at the weekend. This is true. Yeah. This is the statistic. Mm. You're more likely to die at the weekend if you go to hospital than if you go during the week. And uh, that's again down to staffing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, so physically, if you do need to go to hospital in, you live in Downpatrick. Where do they want you to go? You go to Dundonald, up to the Ulster Hospital. 
yeah. you know, and you go over very rural, twisty, a windy road network. Oh, absolutely, you know? I know that road. And especially yeah. in, in the bad weather, and we know ourselves, yeah. between flooding and icy mm. roads, mm. you know, that golden hour people talk about, you know, uh -huh. something goes wrong and there's an incident, yeah. to get to a hospital quickly is a it's priority. It's hugely important. So people now are forced yeah. with that dilemma, you know, so, but now Down Council ha have been leading very mm. well on the issue, Rowan, um, there's delegations going this week, week to meet with um, the minister, they're going to meet with the health board, the trusts, um, to really put put forward our case. And you've mentioned Sean earlier on, obviously mm, I worked Sean for Rogers, Sean Rogers. Yes. Yeah. Mm, Sean mm. managed to secure an adjournment debate there um, about two weeks ago up in Stormont where mm -hmm. he um, raised the issue and flagged it up there. And obviously mm. then we have Margaret Ritchie who I also yeah. used to work for, who but is it, doing, it, yeah. doing her best over mm. at Westminster on the same topic. But I mean it, 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 it fascinates me, surprises me I'm bound to say that this thing is now in its third month uh, from the announcement and yeah. uh, it's ongoing and these people are basically getting away with it mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. councillors and politicians seem to be powerless thus far. Well, I wouldn't say powerless, we're certainly registering you still our haven't objection. Changed it. No, but in, in one sense now, what's, what's happened at the minute is come um, March, I see this announcement there on Friday by the Trust mm. that they're wanting to bring in a, a minor's, minor injuries unit to the down. Mm. Now, again, it's better than what we have, yeah. but it's certainly not the answer. And, and my fear would be that that would be the Trust's wishes all along to scale back the down. Scale back. Um, yeah. You know, replace the, the um, doctor led mm. um, AE with a minor injuries unit. My, my goodness. Which isn't acceptable at yeah. all, and we'll continue yeah. to oppose yeah. that, Rowan. What else have you been? What, what other immensities have you oh. been struggling between? The Down Hospital I I is a big one. I'm also involved, and I sit on the, um, the Statutory Transition Committee, which obviously um, is involved in the amalgamation of the two councils. Of the councils. two councils, Nureen Moore and, and Down. Yeah. And Down. Um, now this week, obviously, there is interviews taking place for the new Chief Executive, which is yes. an important, a very important role mm. of the Statutory Transition Committee. Of course. So it's, it's just moving forward with that. And Will you um, be interviewing the new Chief Executive, no, your I'm committee? No, I'm not. I'm not on the panel. There's but there is a panel of, of councils. Yes, from that committee, uh -huh. a subgroup that, that are involved uh -huh. in those interviews. Um, but everything's moving very quickly. Time's yeah, just flying, it is flying by. by. You know, it'll because not be too uh, long until May. You're, 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 in May, you'll be standing for the new Super Council, yeah. not, any, not, not, not the existing uh, no. uh, uh, council over in Downpatrick, but you'll be into the new and the big one. Yeah. And uh, really, uh, with that happening, uh, where will the new centre be? What way is the thinking going in that? Is, is the headquarters going to be in uh, Downpatrick or in Yuri? Well, that still hasn't been decided yet. As my understanding is they're moving forward with a, a split site. A split site? Yeah, I mm. mean, at this moment in time, the, the chamber in Downpatrick, and obviously I am going to say that, yeah. is totally fabulous. Yeah. And I mean, it, it, course, it's very accommodating yeah. for, for the needs. Split site of, of is interesting, but you know the adage, it's, you, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Well, hopefully that isn't the case, Rowan, you know, and that's they're moving forward at the moment with, with adapting the two chambers. That's, yeah. that's my understanding. Yeah. Um, Newry is extending its chamber up there. Yeah, I think I that's know. the case, yeah. So would council yeah. meetings alternate between Newry and Downpatrick? Again, that will be decided uh -huh. post the 22nd of mm -hmm. May. That'll be a decision for the new Shadow Council. Yeah. And uh, remind me of the exact date when the new council sits for the first time? Well, again, uh, the 22nd of May is the election and uh -huh. it counts the next two days, uh, as far as I know. And following on from that, I think the Shadow Council has to call its first meeting mm. something like 21 days yeah. after the 22nd of May. Uh -huh. So again, uh -huh. it hasn't been, been, um, been formalised yet. Yes. It's, uh, it's interesting. For some reason, I had 2015 in my head. Well, what happens is the, the Shadow Council comes into being after the mm. election in May. But that actual council doesn't become the full council until the 1st of May, 15, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. And at that stage, the legacy councils are, are gone. Are and this gone. is the new... I love the terminology. The, the legacy, legacy council. Councils, yeah, that was know. picked up quite recently. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, out, out, out to pasture, let them go. Yeah. But I mean, realistically, and I know it's a done deal now, but people are going to have to have a completely different mindset. People in Downpatrick are going to have to know about uh, South Armagh. Uh, people out in Cross Midland are going to have to know about Clock and places like that. Is Clock in your area? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. see? It's, it's a big, a, big area. It's Rowan, a big, it's you know, a big game changer. It's even bigger. I mean, the Newry and Moran and Down Council new model is mm. even bigger than the constituency of South Down. You know, yeah. it's, it's very, very far reaching. Yeah. Um, at the same time, people will have their local representatives in their local areas fighting mm. their local issues. So I suppose, mm. yes, it's a bigger model, mm. but, but on, the one, on the one scale, you're still going to have yeah. that local representative. Okay. What kind of pressure comes on you work wise is, is in your new role as a politician? 
it's just busy, it's time, time management, yeah. I suppose, the big thing. People come to you, you're the person, you're the, the buck stops with you in, in politics and people are coming to you nine times out of ten crying, mm -hmm. help me, mm -hmm. help me, help me. Mm -hmm. You're not always able to help them. You're not. You're and not. sometimes it'll be necessary for you to, um, you know, to say, look, that's not the best thing for you. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. don't want to hear that. Quite often not, but I think, Rowan, just from my constituency experience, if you can do your best for somebody, and I mean, yeah. you, you give them time, and you, you go through the, the process with them, and you take the query as far as it can go, yeah. generally speaking, 99 people out of 100 are happy with that, yeah. and they know that you've yeah. done their bit, you know, uh, as long as you don't just sort of say from the onset, well, that's just not happening, you know, if you no, can sit you there. No, you give them reasons. You do, and you, yeah. can, and you can see it through them and talk yeah. them through the process. I think generally people are appreciative and receptive yeah. to that. Because, you know, I think it's hugely important that politicians are leaders mm -hmm. they're not being led by populace mm -hmm. uh, a, a populist vote and mm -hmm. they're just doing what the people want no no i suppose that that's where your morality comes to you have to stick to what what's yeah. right and what's proper mm -hmm. and i think if you don't sway too much from that rowan you can't really go too far wrong hopefully yeah, absolutely you know. absolutely so it's uh, it's all go for you and yeah it's and busy but enjoying it that's you know? good busy but enjoying yeah, it yeah we wish you well thank you rowan and look thank you so much for coming in uh, as issues arise, you know where we said this to the Sinn Féin people as well, as issues arise, you yeah. know that the studio is here for you mm -hmm. and we're totally balanced. We, mm -hmm. We're there. We have a chip on both shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're welcome always. And uh, you'll have other candidates. Would you let uh, your people know your other candidates? Mm -hmm. We will wish to see them uh, in yeah. the... In, in the near future. Okay. Fantastic. Lovely. Thank Go you, Rowan. Well. Namaste. Thank Go you. well. Take care. Thank you. Now. Music, sir.